have me. Uh, my name is Jennifer Kane, and I'm with Boxer. To start, I'd like to ask a couple of questions. Uh, first, how many of you love, 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 love filling out surveys? <laughs> how many of you hate them? Fair enough. So for those of you that didn't raise your hand, I suspect that you probably fall in the middle and lean towards the hate. <laughs> and I would suspect further that the reason is probably, if not the reason, is content and form. So with that, Waxer would like to change that. And in essence, we create surveys that don't suck. <laughs> so I'm going to show you in spirit of a demonstration. So this is an actual uh, main pilot that we did for BMW North America. We were reached out by the CEO, he turned to his VP of marketing and said, uh, we gotta do this. So I know, I'm sure everyone is aware of BMW, some of you own some, I saw some in the garage, um, but BMW is very particular about their market research. So this is a new format. I'm going to go ahead and start to show you. The format is actually very uh, user-friendly on any screen, uh, but it's probably more impressive on a tablet or smartphone. Uh, obviously, you can use it on a computer as well. So as you see, it does not look like your traditional survey. Um, the, the real key component about the user engagement with its kind of gamified interface is that we have a user engagement rate upwards of 80%. Typical traditional surveys range from 2 to 20% for Un, um, unincentivized surveys. So this actual survey, is, it's no longer now, it's sort of, but it's, it's an active survey that we can use for exercise. So what you can see here is there is a header question. This is fully customizable. Um, it's really meant to be sort of a SAS model. Um, obviously it's new, so we do a bit of consulting in regards to content, but really we're working with them as far as content content and goals. <coughs> so here you have your, and for sake of time, we'll go through this quickly. I mean, if you guys really want to do a survey, and give it to you afterwards, or uh, any other survey. Um, so here's your header question, and then you can do a pop out of the image. Uh, this is really helpful. If, for example, you know, you're looking at a product, uh, we did a pilot with Double Bean. If you want to look at the dress, you want to look at full context, uh, that's very helpful. And then this is what's really unique with the officer, is really, you know, you have kind of this visceral experience that's really trying to capture your critical thinking versus just a digital scale of 1 to 10, like, dislike, you know, display, all this, you know, um, kind of like. So for sake of exercise, I'm just going to do this very quickly um, because I really want to get to the results part. Um, like I said, this was a real survey, but I just want to use it for exercise. But as you can see, I mean, it really within, like you could look at this and you could just say, hey, you know, wait, I don't have this, I would pay for this feature, I wouldn't. I mean, the scale is really just the idea, I mean, if you're really analytical and you want to do literally 98%, but it's usually just a gut sort of visceral response in regards to, you know, where you feel, I would pay for this, you know, this kind of thing, um, almost done, thank you, sorry about this, but, well, we had, um, and this is BMW's content. So we obviously try to inspire, you know, more creative content and engaging. Um, you know, the platform is obviously our our user interface. But the thing I want to get to is right here. So then you can, at the very last slides, literally is asking you if you want, you know, what you want to know about your audience, your demographic. So this is all customizable. It wants you to select, you know, income. That's just for sake of where we are, you know. Uh, you know. I mean, I'm just obviously emphasizing. So, series, oh, we need a model first. So, you can force whatever. Okay. And then, so here you can get to the results, and it's live, actual results. This is the other thing that's really empowering for, you know, kind of the B2B is that, so if you see results here, then what you can see is literally your analytics. 
This just captured the survey that I just took. It gives you a, a broad overview if you don't want. You can look at histograms, three plots, feedback, whatever, you know, stuff you want to sort of geek out on. And then really use any of these actual data. You can also filter down in questions. You know, if you want to look at whatever question, particularly that question, you want to hone in on that. All in all, and that survey, you're right, I mean, the survey was 15 questions a little bit long, but the reality is that that survey was 45 questions. But it was shown as 15 questions, because within that, you actually get really contextual, deeper dive into the header question. All in all, Waxer wants to become the indispensable utility for critical thinking. And with that, we have a proven concept, BMW, Yale, MIT Enterprises, a checkpoint, and a pipeline of pilot projects that we're working on. We are an early stage startup that is looking for seed funding to be able to get it out there and scale. So we are a B2B, really um, like the SaaS model. Um, marketing is we have um, actually a pull, not push, uh, interest from certain verticals. Uh, one of them being particularly the automotive, but also market research firm, which is a market research firm that we're piloting that does 80% of the new vehicle experience surveys. I'd suspect probably 80% of you probably received one if you own a car. Uh, they do everyone except for Ford and Toyota for some reason. Also, we were reached out by John Hopkins and Brigham um, Women's Hospital. So I wasn't aware of this, but hospitals are internally, there are a ton of surveys, but there's also the patient survey. Um, but the internal survey is probably more our go to market because it doesn't deal with HIPAA or confidentiality issue. Oh, I didn't say, the question was. <laughs> the question was, is how are we going to warn it? Uh, as I can guess, uh, this solution would work on a specific set of products, not for everything, and uh, what kind of niches do you think would be the best way? That's interesting that you say it. The question was, this, this survey would only work for certain types of products or industries. Um, we were actually very surprised of the reception that we got across a wide variety of industries. So everything from, we have a finance model that is used for analysts to be able to crunch data better and then churn out a report. So if they're looking through a spectrum of, you know, just analysis, that they can rate literally in lifetime, I mean, you can do a pop-up and rate in lifetime. I mean, we've done MIT Enterprises, a form similar to this, and they use it live time, they're rating literally every demonstration to get feedback. Because when you're putting on an event, most of you, know, you always want feedback. You know, how engaging was it? Did you have questions, suggestions? So it's actually across the board in industries. Uh, we're, really, we're really surprised, even HR consulting firms, because employee reviews. So um, the founder actually did a, a 360 employee review for JP Morgan. Uh, he worked on that. So it's really, um, we actually are pleasantly surprised at how many industries, but I think to your question, the go-to market is you really want to hone in on a couple of markets to kind of prove yourself. Um, I think you don't want to go out of the gate trying to be everything to anyone, but it could certainly be applied. Yes. So I was wondering, do you capture the hypocritical input? And that is if you ask the question one way, you get one answer. And if you ask the question, which should be equivalent? a different way, you get a different answer, and do you have a way of doing basically capturing fuzzy sets and uh, being able to uh, show the uncertainty in the customer's mind? So the question was, uh, do we have an answer for the hypocritical and fuzzy sets? Yeah. Is that correct? <laughs> okay. Um, sure. So I will say that this is uh, directed by the client. So the content is manufactured by the client. So we certainly can't dictate you know, how they're asking the question um, because it's really the platform that we're providing for them to answer the question, uh, for them to provide to their, to their audience. Does that answer your question? You're a platform, not, not a content provider. We're right, we're, I mean, we're a SaaS model, correct? I mean, that's what we're, that's. So that means you don't have much in the way of professional services. Right, we're not gearing towards to be a consultant. 
firm. I mean, I think some initial clients have asked us to help them with the questions, but content, their objective, their goal is truly you know, subject to the client. I mean, that's not, we don't want to be consulting.